Hello my dear family members, you might have noticed that we often encountered similar coding questions. Well guess what, on 18th September something interesting happened. Accenture made us astonished by asking a coding questions that was refreshingly a little unique. So let's see what is the question. The question is this, return the sum of the digits of n after converting n from base 10 to base k. Given an integer n in base 10 and a base k, each digit should be treated as base 10 number after conversion and the results should be provided in base 10. Constraints are given below and here is the example. So input n is equal to 34 and k is equal to 6 and the output is 9. How? At first the 34 in base 10 is exp expressed in base 6 that is 54 and the 54 that is uh, the base 6 form and its digit sum is equal to 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 right so that's why the output is 9 similarly in example 2 as well here n is equal to 10 and k is equal to 10 so the n is already in base 10 so the output is the sum of the digits so 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 right so how to convert a number from base 10 to base k okay let me explain for it example 1 so at first divide the number 34 by 6 right and then record the remainder so at first the remainder will be uh, 6 5s are 30 so at first the remainder will be 4 right and then uh, in the quotient we have 5 so continue dividing the quotient from step 1 by 6 until the quotient is 0 right and record the remainder each time right so uh, so we have to now divide the quotient 5 by 6 so 6 0 0 that means the remainder will be 5 right and we have to record the remainder so now 0 is found so we will not go further right so at then the our next duty is to actually make this from reverse order right and concatenate so now we have to just add this number in this uh, following uh, questions we have been asked for adding the digit right so 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so the output is 9 right this way actually it will work so i hope you understood the problem right so if you understood then please solve the problem by yourself if not possible then come to watch otherwise it will not be helpful right okay let's see what is the solution right i'll solve the code in python right if you want in java or any other language then let me know i will provide right so at first define the function sum of digit sum of digit n and k as arguments and at first let's check if n is equal to is equal to 0 if this then return 0 right uh, if n is 0 the sum is also 0 in any base right so that's why we did it so at first in step 1 we have to convert n from base 10 to base k right so let's let's uh, initialize digits is equal to empty list and while n greater than 0 what we will do that is we will take the digit right so n mod k and we will append the digits right digits dot append the digit i hope this is very simple uh, syntax you will understand right so n by by is equal to k and in the next step sum the digits in base k right so whatever we have appended in the digits we will now sum of those right so digits is digit sum is equal to uh, sum of digits right And after that in, in the step 3 we will return the sum in base 10 right so return uh, the digit sum i hope this will be okay right now just read the input and let's check if it is right or wrong so for n comma k is equal to map map in input dot split 
and print the sum of digit n comma k right i hope this will be okay let's check if it is right or wrong so for input 1 that is 34 space 6 that is 9 and for 10 and 10 the output should be 1 right so this is 1 as expected right so let's check another example that is user defined let's say 20 is the number in and the base is 6 right we have to convert in base 6 right so at first we have to divide the 20 by 6 so 6 3 is that 18 so remainder is 2 and 3 in quotient right so 3 in quotient means uh, we will divide the quotient so 6 0 are 0 now the remainder is 3 right so 3 and 2 so output should be 5 right 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so let's check for 20 and 6 if it is right or wrong 20 and 6 so output is 5 so this is okay right okay we will now move to the advanced coding question but before we proceed to the question i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and please join and contribute some thanks right so the question is regarding fields cards right so each of fields cards which total n has a digit that is either 0 or 5 in order to receive a number jeff can pick a number of cards and rearrange them in a line what is the greatest number that jeff can create that is divisible by 90 using the card he has without a leading zero jeff must make the number we proceed by assuming that the integer zero has no leading zeros not all of the cards need to be played by jeff right so here is the input format the first line contains integer n 1 less than equal to n less than equal to 103 the next line contains n integers a1 a2 dot dot a n right so here a i is equal to 0 or a i is equal to 5 right and number a i represents the digit that is written on the ith card right so these are actually i and the output format is also given so in a single line print the answer to the problem the maximum number right and that is divisible by 90 if you can't make any divisible by 90 number from the cards then print minus 1 so here is the input that is 4 and 5050 0, 0, and the output is 0 so i will not explain the code so please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself if not possible then please let me know i will give you the solution in the comment section either in java or python right so i hope you found this video helpful if you think then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and please join the channel thank you for today's session